Howdy, folks, and I am in a weird position. Why, why is, why is this happening? Why is this happening? <laughs> I set up the camera before I did this. This is not right. <laughs> what? Why have I made it worse? I'm making it worse. D -d -d -d. Okay, that's better. <laughs> what the hell happened? <laughs> yes, I know about Blue Sky being shut down. It's why I nominated it uh, for a quiz this week. And I can see why people voted for it, because it's it's a, it's a big deal about it shutting down right now. Um, anyway, so we'll start the quiz in a bit. It's going to be 35 questions. Most of them are hard towards the end, mainly because I want to... I, I decided to like use this quiz to highlight stuff that not many people know about Blue Sky. So towards the end, it gets a bit harder. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, it's unlikely that I, I didn't, yeah, I didn't post the poll on Facebook, sorry. Um, it's a long story, but like, I couldn't, at the time, I could not post on Facebook. Yeah. Uh, for personal reasons, I couldn't, I couldn't post on it at the time, so very sorry about that. But I should be able to post the next poll on Facebook. Um, if something's not posted on Facebook, it's most likely posted on Twitter or my community tab on YouTube. Um, da, 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 da. Bevan, hi Jamper, what do you think about the new, new Ice Age film adventures of Buck Wild? Um, I d is it still going to get made now that Blue Sky is shutting down? That's, that is something, I'm not sure if it's still going to get made. Uh, or is Disney just going to hire a, a different studio to take over the Ice Age franchise? I, I don't know. Uh, so she's York's daddy. Yes, I was zucked. <laughs> well done for working it out. <laughs> um. Oh, oh so, it, so the book's getting his own movie still. That's okay. So Disney have decided to shut down Blue Sky's original projects, but keep the Ice Age factory going. Well, I'm not surprised. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I, to be fair though, Book is, Book is probably one of the top tier characters in the Ice Age sequels. Probably the best of the new characters that came into the franchise once they started doing sequels. So I, I'd be down for a film starring Book, especially when I love Simon Pegg as well. Uh, da, 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 da. Bever, do you hate I do you hate Ice Age Collision Course? Hate is a strong word, but I would reserve it for Collision Course. Actually, I think that's the only that's the only Ice Age film I would reserve the word hate for. I, it's so so bad. It's so so bad. Um, so we should definitely get this quiz going. Uh, da, 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 da. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Right. Oh no, no intro today. <laughs> I forgot to put the intro into here. Oh well. Oh well. Skip the intro. How's the sound, by the way, folks? Okay, so I need to find out if the sound's alright. And uh, on your end, if you've never played a quiz before on my Twitch, you need to go. Uh, you need to click on the quiz kit logo on the side of chat. And then click allow access and grant permission. That is how you can take part in this quiz. Um, if you're not taking part in the quiz, please don't post uh, answers in chat. Because a lot of people here come for the challenge. <coughs> and I will start. I will start the quiz anytime soon. Right, so I'm just gonna let everyone know again how to join. You click the you, cl uh, you click the quiz kit logo on the side of chat, and then you click allow access and grant permission. Right, I think I should definitely get the ball rolling because I know there's a lot of people are waiting. <laughs> okay, so question one: What is the name of the squirrel who stashes nuts in the Ice Age films? Yes, we're starting off very, very easy. Is it Scrat, Skull, Scrooge, or Skittles? So, so again, question one, what is the name of the squirrel who stashes nuts in the Ice Age films? Uh, Scrat, Skull, Scrooge, or Skittles? Is 
Is my voice different? Yeah, I'm very groggy. Sorry. <laughs> I'm very groggy today. Not had much sleep lately. And I've not been eating very well. And the answer was scratch. You all got that correct. Well done. Okay, so question two. Question two, in robots, what is the name of the robot city company that Rodney really wants to work for? Huge Tools, Inventico, Small Wheel Inc, or Big Weld Industries? Again, question two, in robots, what is the name of the robot city company that Rodney really wants to work for? Huge Tools, Inventico, Small Wheel Inc, or Big Weld Industries? Yes, Robots was a Blue Sky film. It was their second feature film. So what was the name of the company? It was Big Weld Industries. Bit of a mix, but most went for Big Weld. Uh, yes, I'm quite groggy because I spent uh, 17 hours getting through a load, the last of the MCU films for the Film Chums podcast. So yeah, the answer was Big Weld Industries. Uh, so question three, which country is Rio set in? Peru, Argentina, Brazil, or Chile? So question three, which country is Rio set in? Peru, Argentina, Brazil, or Chile? Da, 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 da. So that's question three, which, which country is Rio set in? And the answer is Brazil. Most of you got that. One went for Peru. Okay, so question four. <laughs> is it going to let me? Question four. What is the name of the villain creatures in Epic? The Bristles, the Boggins, the Brickens, or the Boo Boos? So again, question four. What is the name of the villain creatures in Epic? The Bristles, the Boggins... The Brickens or the Boo Boos? So, what was the name? What was the name of those uh, evil creatures that the characters have to face in Epic? The answer was the Boggins. Most of you went for that. A couple went for Brickens, and someone went for Bristles. Okay, so question five, when it loads, is it going to load? <laughs> Next question. Question five, in the Peanuts movie, which bug does Charlie Brown try to report, write a report on? To Kill a Mockingbird, Moby Dick, War and Peace, or The Great Gatsby? Again, in the Peanuts movie, which bug does Charlie Brown try to write a report on? To Kill a Mockingbird, Moby Dick, War and Peace, or The Great Gatsby? Which book did Charlie decide to write a report on? What is the answer? Let's find out. Any second now. The answer was War and Peace. Most of you got that right. Well done. Okay, almost there. Almost on to question six. Question six. Question six. Here it comes. Here it comes. Question six, what is the name of the ranch that forces Ferdinand to bullfight? Castle de Tal Toro, uh, El Rancho, Divertido, I can't, I'm so sorry for pronouncing these uh, these wrong, or Batala. So what is the name of the ranch that forces Ferdinand to fight? Casa del Toro, El Rancho, uh, Divertido, or Batala? What was the name of the ranch that forces Ferdinand to bullfight? The answer was Casa del Toro. And not not everyone went for that one. <laughs> Most people went for El Rancho. Only a couple went for Casa del Toro. I understand, though. El Rancho sounds like a generic name for a bullfighting ranch. Uh, question seven. In Spies and Disguise, which animal does secret agent Lance Sterling get turned into? A walrus, a polar bear, a pigeon, or a kangaroo? So again, question seven in Spies and Disguise, which animal does secret agent Lance Sterling get turned into? A walrus, a polar bear, a pigeon, or a kangaroo? Which animal? So which animal does Will Smith's character in Spies and Disguise get transformed into? 
The answer is duh, 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 building up, and it is a pigeon. Everyone got that right, but someone went for walrus. <laughs> One person went for walrus. <laughs> uh, so weird guy says I haven't seen Spice in disguise yet. Is it any good? It's all right. It's okay. It's pretty fun. Uh, question eight. In Horton Hears a Who, what's the name of the mountain that Horton has to get to? Mount Null, Mount Zong, Mount Obsk, or Mount No? So again, question eight. In Horton Hears a Who, what's the name of the mountain that Horton has to get to? Mount Null, Mount Zong, Mount Obsk, or Mount No? What's the name of the mountain that Horton has to get to? In Horton Hears a Who. What's the answer? And the answer was Mount Null. Most went for that. Uh, rest went for either Mount Zong or Mount No. Yeah, most of those answers were like just random Zeusian names. <laughs> uh, question 9. In Ice Age the Meltdown, what does the tribe plan to do to Sid? Marry him to an iceberg, throw him off a waterfall, sacrifice him in a volcano, or feed him to a giant T-Rex. So question 9. In Ice Age the Meltdown, what does the tribe plan to do to Sid? Marry him to an iceberg, throw him over a waterfall, sacrifice him in a volcano, or feed him to a giant T-Rex. It's the tribe that start copying Sid in uh, Ice Age 2. The answer was sacrifice him to a volcano. Most went for that one. And one person went for feed him to a T-Rex. <laughs> Question 10 is coming up. Question 10. Question 10. In robots, what is the name of Madame Gasket's scrap factory? The gear grinder, the rust crusher, the kick store, or the chop shop? So question 10, in robots, what is the name of Madame Gasket's scrap, scrap factory? The gear grinder, the rust crusher, the kick store, or the chop shop? So what was the name of Madame Gasket's scrap factory in robots? Yeah, the song that they play when the camera's panning down the scrap factory. I freaking love that song. So good. And the answer was the chop shop. Most went for it, but a couple went for the rust crusher or the gear grinder. I forgot what the song's called, sorry. It's really good though. Uh, question question 11. Question 11. In Rio 2, what type of frog is Gabby? A tomato frog, a glass frog, a tree frog, or a poison dart frog? So question 11. In Rio 2, what type of frog is Gabby? Tomato frog, glass frog, tree frog, or poison dart frog? Fro frog? Okay, so the song, the song was called uh, Underground by Tom Waits. So what was what type of frog was Gabby in Rio 2? Let's find out the answer any second now. The answer was a poison dart frog. Most of you went for that. A couple went for tree frog. Let's move on to question 12. We're on the medium stage, by the way, folks. So question 12. How many daughters does Ned have in Horton Here's a Who? 10, 96... 53 or 37. So question 12. How many daughters does Ned have in Horton? Here's a who. 10, 96, 53 or 37. How many daughters does the mayor have in Horton? Here's a who. Was it 10, 96, 53 or 37? The answer was 96. Most got, got that right. Well done. Question 13, we're on to question 13 next, when it loads. Question 13. Question 13, what is Buck's profession in Ice Age Dawn of the Dinosaurs? Egg collector, coconut chef, dinosaur hunter, or cave cleaner? So question 13, what is Buck's profession in Ice Age Dawn of the Dinosaurs? Egg collector, coconut chef, dinosaur hunter, or ca cave cleaner? Question 13. What is Buck's profession in Ice Age Dawn of the Dinosaurs? Egg collector, coconut chef, dinosaur hunter, or cave cleaner? What was his profession? Let's find out the answer. 
The answer was Dinosaur Hunter. Well done to everyone that got that correct. On to question 14. How deep was the flatter Z? Question 14, here it comes. Question 14, in Spies and Disguise, what does HTUV stand for? Honor, Trust, Unity, and Valor. Our Time, Universe, and Vision. Hope, Truth, Ultimate, and Verdict. Honor, Tradition, Uniform, and Virtue. So what does HTUV stand for in Spies in Disguise? So HTUV is the, uh, the kind of like the division that Agent Sterling works for in Spies in Disguise. But what does it stand for? The answer is honor, trust, unity, and valor. Most got it right, but there was a, some people went for the others as well, though. Okay, on to question 15. Question 15. Which famous wrestler voiced Ferdinand? Dave... Oh, I can't pronounce his name. I'm so sorry. Is it Dave Bautista? Dave Batista? Dave... I should know after watching all the MCU films right now. <laughs> Is it Dave Bautista, uh, Mick Foley, John Cena, or The Rock? I'm just going to call him Dave. So is it Dave, Mick Foley, John Cena, or The Rock? <laughs> the answer was John Cena. Most people got that right. Quite a lot of people got that right. Okay, on to question 16. Dave Bautista is uh, Drax in uh, the MCU, in the Guardians of the Galaxy films. Uh, question 16, which Star Wars character makes a voice box cameo in Robots? Uh, Darth Vader, Jar Jar Binks, Princess Leia, or Yoda? So question 16, which Star Wars character makes a voice box cameo in Robots? Darth Vader, Jar Jar Binks, Princess Leia, or Yoda. And the original actor came back to do uh, the voice as well. The answer was Darth Vader. Most got that correct. Well done. Quite a lot got it correct. So on to question 17. I think we're still in, we're still in the uh, medium section. So question 17, what is the name of the song that Charlie Brown dances to for a competition in the Peanuts movie? Better when I'm dancing, even average guys dance, I'm dancing like a dog, dancing on marshmallow clouds. So what is the name of the song that Charlie Brown, Brown dances to for a competition in the Peanuts movie? Better when I'm dancing, even average guys dance, I'm dancing like a dog, or dancing on marshmallow clouds. What's the song to, that Charlie dances to for a competition in the Peanuts movie? Let's find out the answer any second now. <laughs> Here it comes. Right. And the answer was better when I'm dancing. Bit of a mixed response, but most went for better when I'm dancing. On to question 18. Here comes question 18. When it loads. <laughs> get closer. Uh, so next question. Question 18. In Ice Age Continental Drift, which pop star voices a mammoth teenager called Steffi? Miley Cyrus, Taylor Swift, Lady Gaga, uh, or Nicki Minaj? So question 18. In Ice Age Continental Drift, which pop star voices a mammoth teenager called Steffi? Miley Cyrus, Taylor Swift, Lady Gaga, or Nicki Minaj? So which pop star plays a mammoth in Ice Age Continental Drift? Let's find out the answer any second now. And the answer was Nicki Minaj. Bit of a mixed response, but most went from Nicki. On to question 19. Here comes question 19. When it loads, here it comes. Gonna do it. Question 19. Are you going to load? Question 19. What is the name of the immortal city in Ice Age Collision Course? Foreververville, Amortis, Crystalia, or Geotopia. So question 19, what is the name of the immortal city in Ice Age Collision Course? Foreververville, Amortis, Crystalia, or Geotopia? So what was the name of the immortal city in Ice Age 5? Can you remember the name? Let's find out the answer any second now when it starts to do it. The answer was Geotopia. Most went for it. Well done. A couple went for Crystalia. 
Question 20. Here comes question 20. Question 20 is... Question 20 is in Ferdinand... What is Makina the Bull's backstory? He is a human who was transformed into a bull, he was cloned in a lab, he is an alien pretending to be a bull, or he is a Frankenstein experiment of dead bulls. How big is this quiz? It's 35 questions long. So question 20 in Ferdinand, what is Makina the Bull's backstory? Uh, he is a human who was transformed into a bull, he was cloned in a lab, he is an alien pretending to be a bull, or he is a Frankenstein experiment of dead bulls. He was cloned in a lab is the correct answer. Well done to everyone that clicked that. Quite a lot did as well. <laughs> so question 21. Here comes 20, question 21. In the Peanuts movie, which trombone player provided the voices for the adult characters? We're on the hard level now, folks. J.J. Uh, Johnson, Nick Hudson, Christian Lindbergh, or Troy Andrews. Drews. So, uh, question 21, in the Peanuts movie, which trombone player provided the voices for the adult characters? J.J. Johnson, Nick Hudson, Christian Lindbergh, or Troy Andrews? We get, when I say hard, I mean hard. This is <laughs> We're going for the very obscure stuff now. So, yeah, the answer was Troy Andrews. Uh, very mixed response for this one. I expected that. I expected that. <laughs> Okay, question 22. What was Blue Sky's first ever animated short called? Hoppy, Rabbit, Bunny, or Cottontail? So what was Blue Sky's first ever animated short called? Hoppy, Rabbit, Bunny, or Cottontail? What was Blue Sky's first ever animated short? It was actually on the Ice Age DVD. And the answer was Bunny. Very mixed response for that. Very mixed. <laughs> okay, so question 23. Here it comes. This is a good load. Question 23. When did Disney acquire ownership of Blue Sky Studios? Like, when was it made official? Uh, March the 20th, 2019. September the 19th, 2018. October the 20th, 2020. Or July the 5th, 2017. It's worth... It's definitely worth seeing Bunny. You've got to check out Bunny. So, question 23. When did Disney acquire ownership of Blue Sky Studios? Let's find out the answer any second now. The answer was March the 20th, 2019. Very mixed responses again. You can really tell this is the hard stage. <coughs> so question 23, uh, 24 coming up next. Question 24. Which of the following is not a Blue Sky short film? Co cosmic Cat... Cosmic Cat... 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 Scratch... Why can't I pronounce it? Cosmic Scrat Tastrophe, Aunt Fanny's Tour of Booty, or Scrat's Disco Party, or Gone Nutty. That was terribly read out. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, I know. To British people, <laughs> to British people, we still can't get over that there's a character in robots called Aunt Fanny because of what art, what because of what Fanny means over in the UK. <laughs> Uh, so the answer was Scrat's Disco Party. Very mixed response again. Okay, coming up is question 25. Uh, question 25. Which alien movie did Blue Sky contribute effects to? Alien vs. Predator, Alien Free, Prometheus, or Alien Resurrection? Yes, this is true. They started off as a special effects company before they started doing feature films. So, which Alien movie did Blue Sky contribute effects to? Alien vs. Predator, Alien Free, Prometheus, or Alien Resurrection? Which of those Alien films? I've only seen the first two Alien films, by the way. <laughs> And the answer was Alien Resurrection. Wow, again, very mixed responses. Very mixed. <laughs> On to question 26. So, question 26. Blue Sky 
animated a scratch cameo for which Fox animated sitcom? King of the Hill, Bob's Burgers, Family Guy, or American Dad? So question 26, Blue Sky animated a scratch cameo for which Fox animated sitcom? King of the Hill, Bob's Burgers, Family Guy, or American Dad? So there's there's an episode of one uh, there's an episode of a Fox Fox cartoon where Scratch is like in the show literally and Blue Sky personally animated it for them and the uh, the show was Family Guy well done So question 27 coming up Question 27 which Don Blue film did Blue Sky do 3D animation for Rockadoodle, Bartok the Magnificent, Titan AE, or Anastasia? So question 27, which movie, which Don Bluth movie did Blue Sky do 3D animation for Rockadoodle, Bartok the Magnificent, Titan AE, or Anastasia? So yeah, Blue Sky did 3D animation for one of uh, Don Blue's films, but which one was it? The answer was Titan AE. That is correct. Uh, they worked on the uh, the Genesis, the final Genesis sequence. Question 28 coming up. Question 28. Which year was Blue Sky Studios founded? 1987, 1998, 2001, or 2005? Oh, my nose is so itchy tonight. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, question 28. Which year was Blue Sky Studios founded? 1987, 1998, 2001, or 2005? So what's the answer? Let's find out. The answer is 1987. Most of you got that correct. Well done. Yes, they started up. They started out way earlier than people think. They, they, they've been around way longer than before, way before uh, Ice Age. Okay, so question 29. What are the two Ice Age holiday specials called? The Great Eggs Scapade? Why are the I why are the, their short films got s spelled so weirdly? <laughs> the Great, the great Eggs Scapade and a Mammoth Christmas, Diego the Halls and a Mammoth Halloween, uh, an Ice Age Thanksgiving and Scratch Valentine's Date, or Scratch Easter Parade and Sid and the Snowball Fight. The answer is The Great Escapade and A Mammoth Christmas. Most of you got that correct. One person went for Thanksgiving and Valentine's Date. Okay, on to question 30. Question 30. Who directed Ice Age The Meltdown? Jimmy Haywood, Carlos Saldana, uh, Steve Martino, or Chris Wedge? So who directed Ice Age 2? Can you remember? Let's find out the answer any second now. Here we go. And the answer was Carlos. Very mixed response for that one. Very mixed. So question 30. We're almost at the end of the quiz now. Question 31. Here comes question 31. When it loads. Question 31. Which Blue Sky Studios project has won an Oscar? Gone Nutty, The Peanuts Movie, Bunny or Ice Age? So which Blue Sky Studios project has won an Oscar? Not just nominated. They've won. Gone Nutty, The Peanuts Movie, Bunny, or Ice Age? So which one won an Oscar? Let's find out. The answer was Bunny. Very mixed response again. <laughs> uh, okay, so question 32. Question 32, what year was Ice Age released? 2002, 1999, 2001, or 2000? So question 32, which year was Ice Age released? 2002, 1999, 2001, or 2000? So 
So what year did Ice Age come out? Let's find out the answer any second now. Here it comes. <laughs> the answer was 2002. Well done. A lot of people got that correct. I would have been about 12 when it came out then. 11 or 12. You're not an idiot. Remember, this quiz is just a bit of fun. <laughs> Question 33. What is the running time for Spies in Disguise? 120 minutes, 102 minutes, 92 minutes, or 112 minutes? So, question 33, what is the running time for Spies in Disguise? 120 minutes, 102 minutes, 92 minutes, or 112 minutes? Getting very close to the end of the quiz now, folks. Do you think you're doing well? Do you think you're doing okay? So, question 33, the answer was 102 minutes. That's how long Spies in Disguise was. Okay, on to question 34. Question 34. Which of the following was not a cancelled Blue Sky Studios film? Nimona, Robin Hood in the Future, Santa Claus, or Frog Kisser? So question 34. Which of the following was not a cancelled Blue Sky Studios film? Nimona, Robin Hood in the Future, Santa Claus, or Frog Kisser? The answer was Robin Hood in the future. Very mixed, very mixed answers for that one. Howdy, Guido Lido. Or Dido. Guido Dido, sorry. Last question, question 35. Which William Joyce book inspired Epic? The Acorn World and L the Love Creatures, the Tree People and the Courageous Insects, the Microscopic Folk and the Trusty Crawlies, or the Leaf Men and the Brave Good Bugs? So question 35, which William Joyce book inspired Epic? The Acorn World and the Love Creatures, the Tree People and the Courageous Insects, insects the Microscopic Folk and the Trusty Crawlies, or the Leaf Men and the Brave Good Bugs? Okay, so the answer was the Leaf Men and the Brave Good Bugs. Most went for that one. Okay, so let's find out the final results of this quiz. Who is the number one winner? Who is the biggest Blue Sky Studios fan in this stream tonight? And the results are, number one, the winner is contestant two. Uh, does anyone want to say who they are? <laughs> who was a uh, contestant to? Uh, in second place was Listy Rimsey. In third place was Nathan L Lugandu. Uh, uh, and then fourth place was Bev and Borges. Fifth place, Rocky Savannah. Sixth place, Socialist Yorkshire Daddy. Seventh place, Contestant 10. Uh, eighth place, Evan J. Sims. And ninth place, Weird Guy 06. So yeah, who's contestant 10? Whoever is contestant, I mean, sorry, who is contestant 2? Contestant 2 is the winner. Congratulations, contestant 2. You don't have to say who you are. Well done. Well done for getting, uh, for getting that many points for the Blue Sky Studios quiz. Uh, before I head off, does anyone have any nominate? Oh, so Eve Ethan Free Direct was contestant 2. Well done, Ethan. Uh, so... Yeah, so has anyone got any, like, uh, suggestions for nominations for the quiz poll for next week's quiz? So Looney Tunes, Sony Pictures. Still, pre yeah, you can pre be, be, be whatever, whatever you're <laughs> just taking part is worth being proud of. <laughs> I've already done an MCU quiz. I did one back in January. Disney director video sequels. I actually, yeah, it's not a bad one actually. Don Bluth. But every question is on the trolls. No, <laughs> no. I don't think I could come up, come up with that many questions for a troll in Central Park. Uh, Warner Brothers cartoons. Interesting. Illumination. Interesting. 
I'll definitely keep these ones in mind. Total Drama. I've not seen Total Drama, so I'm not gonna... I don't think I'll be very good at coming up with a quiz for it. Uh, Nickelodeon, maybe. That's very broad, though. <coughs> Futurama, I've, I'm always nominating a free... I'm always personally putting Futurama on the poll. Never wins, but I'm, I'm, ha I'm probably going to try again. <laughs> Inbetweeners, I don't even watch... I don't even like Inbetweeners. I've never understood the appeal of Inbetweeners. It's not my not my jazz at all. So, yeah, I, I should definitely head off now. Got a lot to do. I uh, hope you all, all enjoyed the quiz. That's the main thing. Main thing is you have fun. And I'm very sorry I sound this groggy. I've had barely any sleep because I'm either working on stuff or I'm doing serious business-related things at the side. So it's, it's a little bit crazy at the moment. Uh, so yeah, cheerio.